Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I am from AGS Electronics and today we're going to be progressing again with our Zelio and today's task is to check out the analogs. So we're going to be checking out the two analog inputs I have for this particular controller. In upcoming videos I'm probably going to change the controller because I want to a, um, have a look at the Modbus communications with this, with the drives and things like that. So tune in if you are interested in those kind of things for the future. So, but today we are going to be checking out the analog input, how the analog inputs are wired and most importantly how they are a program inside the uh, control panel itself, not control panel, sorry, into the Zelio 2, Zelio Soft 2 software and I'll tell you one thing guys, I've been having a lot of fun, I mean, I mean, I'm in no secret, I've been a big fan of uh, Schneider products uh, before and, and now as well, I've never really played with Zelio but now that I get into Zelio is is what I like about it is how simplified they made. Okay, they don't have quite a lot of functionalities into it like our other competitors do, but they made those things that matters in many cases, at least in my own opinion, they made them easy and easy to understand, which I'm gonna show that as well in uh, in a minute when we're gonna be uh, having a look at the into program itself, how the analogs would work. I like it, I think it's, it's a very, very good entry uh, uh, level uh, PLC if you want to get into it, especially because the software, hey, it's free, why not? It's a free software, controller is not too expensive, so why not? So yes, that's what we're doing today. So uh, yeah, all the related manuals, guys, do check out the uh, description below, I have left the hardware manual, the software manual, and uh, installation manual or something like that. Three good manuals I have left in there, definitely check them out. It's everything you're gonna need to know is there, everything you're working with, it's there with all the samples and everything else you, uh, you want. And also, obviously Schneider website provides a whole lot of extras if you really want to check it out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Here we are, so uh, let's have a look what we're going to be working today. So we are going to be using ATV320. Uh, it will be absolutely criminal not to use a Schneider, well, to use Schneider, Schneider controller and not add their drive to it. So we have AT, uh, ATV320, a fantastic drive, guys. This guy is packed with so much into them. So it, 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 it is, it is uh, not the, the cheapest of the, of, on the market, but it definitely comes with some incredible functionality. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, definitely give it a shot. So what we're gonna do in here, we're gonna be using this drive to output from here. So uh, right in here, cause I said, uh, um, I actually, guys, if you want to see the, the video of how to set up Schneider ATV320 uh, uh, analog outputs and, uh, and there's so many things you can scale within the drive, because at the moment we are going to be scaling the frequency. So frequency is going to be scaled zero to 10 volts. So zero would be zero volts and let's say 50, uh, 50 is going to be 10 volts. So it's going to be outputting that into our controller right in here. So uh, that's that's the drive and also as well, the uh, already made three videos, three good videos guys for ATV uh, 320 about the setups, commissioning and all the bits that comes with it is already be done. Definitely check out the channel. Is uh, well, search up for ATV 320. So, uh, from there, as you can see, we are outputting. And let me move this along, move this drive in here. Let's zoom this in a little bit uh, as much as we can see before moving. So, hopefully, it is visible. So, we have an AQ uh, one in here and COM. So, basically, COM is our minus negative and AQ, uh, uh, AQ1 is our plus. So uh, once we establish that, so these two cables are gonna be heading off to Zelio. So, uh, and let's get this light out a little bit and let's zoom in a little bit to the Zelio now that we checked out the drive already. So, and we come in in here and as you can see in here, because remember I told you in the last video, so IB and IC can be used as analog. And the way these analogs work in here, uh, is as soon as it goes past a certain amount of volts, I think it's after t after 13 volts, don't quote me on it, somewhere down that area, it's, it, it turns into digital input. So that's it. And anything below 10 volts, or, or again, whatever the volt is, it, it classed as an analog. So it's, 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 a, it's a cheap way of a, a installing an analog input without having an extra additional inputs for the system. So you can use them as digital, or you can use them as analog. So in our case, as you can see that they're IB. So this is the channel we're gonna be using and also you need a minus. So the negative, which is in my case, I just showed you the COM, 
will come to your negative, which is the minus from wherever that uh, analog is coming from. So it's 0 to 10 volts, by the way. You can't do anything else apart from 0 to, 0 to 10 volts. So and also the plus will come to IB, whatever channel you're going to be using. That's it. It is as, as simple as, as it can get. So we're going to power this thing in up in here. So the drive just came on as well. And that's it, guys. So let's zoom this out because we're going to jump now onto the onto the just to pull that in here. Let's do that in here. The drive itself. Let's close the lid so make it look nicer. So let's jump on the software and see how to set up and read. What are what are we what are we going to be uh, uh, receiving from the drive? All right, so uh, here we are. So uh, as you can see, I if you have watched the last video, if you have, thank you very much. So uh, I have added the two more rows in there. One of them is analog. Another one is another 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 switch, but with the text. Now quickly show you show you how what I did and how really simple Schneider has made this process. So uh, for analogs, so analog input, just go down here, which is like a, you can literally say analog comparators. So basically we're just going to be doing compare. So we'll go in there, select your channel. Uh, as you can see, my analog a input one uh, is my IB uh, for my, uh, for my, for my controller itself. And from there on, uh, what we're going to do, I'm just going to turn on uh, Q Q1. So basically, once we're going to reach a certain amount of voltages, we're going to be turning on the Q1, which is going to be our bell. So once you put it, it looks like a contact block in here. Once you put it in there, so you double click on that. Oh, it just opens up in a, in a different window and it's going to open your window like that. It's pretty much tell you what you're trying to do. So we are going to say turn on output, which is going to be our IB, which is the one we are measuring against some form of reference value, which where you add in here. So basically you can compare it. So simple as that. You compare, so it'll say once the once the voltage from the dry comes back to about nine volts, but again, depending what you're trying to measure, again, this is a very basic explanation. So as you can see, all sorts of options in here, what you're trying to achieve. I'm trying to achieve when the IB is a uh, small, um, bigger than uh, nine volts, do activate the Q1, which is my belt. Very, very simple. So, and that's pretty much how you can do the parameter. And you can change that, by the way, you can change that, I can show that in a minute, in a controller as well. So while, while the program is in there. There we go, that is a simple one. So basically, A1, this guy in here, chose the, cha uh, chose the channel, A1, usually would sign up to, uh, uh, it should show you straight away, and double click it, and it will take you to the this window. And it's going to show you pretty much the available channels. As you can see, IB and IC is only available. So also a reference value if you are comparing the different, uh, maybe you want to compare, let's say in here you want to compare IB to IC, which is two analog channels if you want to. But again, that's how simple it is. It's, there's, there's The scaling is literally 0 to 10 volts. Simple as... Very simple to understand, very simple to work. And also what I did in here, I added the I3, which is my, my uh, uh, third input, and I added the text channel. So if you go in here in the text, yeah, ooh. So in here, choose one of the text, and that's as text, it will work as your, uh, uh, as your uh, uh, signal, as soon as you uh, switch or put the switcher on, there's other ways to control. But for us, what we're going to do in there, we just go by activating I3, we're going to be able to jump a different screen and watch what we want to do in there. So grab it, drag it, put in your outputs, and then double click on it again. And it's going to open you again, it opens up in a different window. You're going to open your window like that. So, and then th what it's going to do, because you already have put some analog values is going to show you what can you use for your screen. So what we're going to, what I did in here, I just typed out volts from drive. Quite simple, and then just grab the channels that are available. Let's, let's, let's delete this guy in here. And then grab the channels to what we're trying to do. So I want to know what is going on into IB. So I'm going to bring that in here, and bam, just drag it in. Here we go. So now once you click, once, once we're going to click input uh, three, it's going to take us uh, to the screen. Again, this can be set up all different ways if you want to. So I think 
or if you want to and uh, as you can see this is you can work with four different lines you can add more text if you want to in things like that so that is all going to be displayed in the screen in a minute then we're going to check it out so yeah so pretty much that's it our uh, analog uh, comparator is ready all we're going to do is now run the drive and a little uh, motor right next to it and once it reaches a certain voltage we are going to be a uh, jumping well not jumping we're going to be turning on our other belt and when it goes below it will turn off so quite straightforward so guys so that's all done so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pump this in to we already know how to do the pump uh, uh sending in sending out as in this is so simple i love it i was able to work out the text thingy and analog inputs literally without even reading the manual it does help and i just mostly work with other other controllers but this one was the quickest i have ever worked out so bonus so yeah here we go let me just uh, pump that in and i'll see you in a video i'll see how that works all right so let's have a look what we have created so we have a little motor in here we got the drive we got the controls in here so all, all ready to go so first thing we're going to check out is uh, is you can uh we're going to start up the system in a minute let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see the so move this a little bit along in here the drive as well and get a bit of motor in the action as well so and let's zoom a little bit into it so we can see what is going on. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use my switches in here to start up the drive. So the motor now is running. So the first thing we want to do, remember the i3 I said? So I, I click on i3 and it took me straight to that screen we just created. So let me zoom in. Pretty cool. It's telling me that uh, the, the voltage from the drive stands at 6.7 volts. So... Uh, you can see as I change my frequency, is it remember, remember I said this beginning of the video, we are scaling the frequency to 0 to 10 volts. So there we go. So here it is our voltage. So and I am comparing, you can actually put another line in the end and you can actually say what am I comparing to as well if you want to. But if you want to find out what you're comparing to, let's let's uh, stop this now. So uh, no, in there. So uh, we're going to go into OK and then let's go into parameters. And, uh, and because you already created this, this sort of what you call the function, or in our case, it's going to be a compare, compare function in there, that goes straight into your parameters for editing. So you don't have to have software to edit if you want to change it. So by clicking parameters, you can see now it says, oh, here we go. I've got one, one parameter you can choose, and that's analog one. So we can say it shows you what, what, what's been uh, added and compared and so on and so on. So what we're going to do in here, if we want to change to what we compare, because at the moment, as you can see, we're comparing, actually, we compare nine volts. So if X1 exceeds nine volts, uh, do a uh, start up the belt, RRQ1. Uh, uh, this go right down the, the belt down there. So if you want to change it, so in our case, what we're going to do in here, so as you can see, two arrows. Am I close enough? It should be. You've got the two arrows right in here. So these, so you can see, it will start jumping around it or place. You can start editing those things. And these up and down buttons, so let's change it down to. to and uh, to 8 volts. Now, when they receive 8 volts, you'll be able to change it. So, just by clicking OK, it's going to confirm the changes, and you have just edited your comparator. So, very simple, easy to work, easy to control. So, on the to leave, just click OK, and it will leave, and you're going to turn back to the screen. So, let's power up the system again. So, let's go onto our screen in here. At the moment, we are standing at a 7.2 volts. That's what exactly what we set up, remember, in a comparator. So well, let's move this along a little bit. So, so as we will increase, as you can see, the voltage is increasing as well. And as soon as we hit eight volts, as you can see, because now it is equal or bigger. So it will, well, actually bigger, because we didn't put the equal sign to it. And it is uh, turned on the bell. We go below, it turns off, we go on. Pretty cool. Very, very simple functionality, guys but sort of give you an idea what can you do with it. It is, it is very, very good and easy to work with. So on that, let's shut this thing down. So if you want to leave this screen, just click OK and OK again. Oh no, OK, no, it's, maybe, keep clicking OK still you get back to the screen. So that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video with the analog explanations. So we definitely could be progressing 
There's quite a, quite a bit, a little bit more I want to do with the Zelio. I want to work a little bit with the HMIs in the future, see how can we, can we add and how can we add. I'll hopefully be able to show you that. And also we're going to be jumping in the Modicon controllers as well. So uh, I just want to keen to stack in and uh, check out them also. So that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.